Hello and uh, welcome one and all. Today we will cover Airbyte Open Source Edition installation. Airbyte is a data load tool. Previously, we covered Airbyte installation via Docker. We will install Airbyte using the command line utility. Run Airbyte and set up authentication. Docker is a prerequisite. I am on Windows, so I will install Docker on Windows. We will download the Airbyte command line utility for Windows. For ease of use, we can add the path of this utility to environment variables. We need to extract the command line utility from the zip file. Copy the exe file in a suitable location. Let's launch the command line from this location. We can issue a command to check the version. This isn't the right command, but we can see the various commands that are available to us via this tool. We can install Airbyte, get Airbyte credentials, and check the status. We can enter help for more information. Let's run Docker Desktop as this is a requirement for this setup. From their site, we download the installer. Locate the install file in your downloads folder. We double click it to initiate the install process. This will initiate the process. We accept the configuration recommendations to continue. This can take a while, so we will come back to it. In the meantime, let's review the other prerequisites. We have to make sure our machine has enough resources to run the Airbyte. It needs at least 4 CPU or cores and 8 GB of memory. We can also run Airbyte in low resource mode if your machine does not meet these requirements. We can head to part 2 of the install process, run Airbyte commands. Here we see the basic install command and install command with low resource mode. Our Docker installation is complete. However, it needs to restart the computer to complete the process. We will close and restart. We are back. We will accept the Docker agreement, use the recommended settings to continue. We can log in or sign up for Docker, or we can skip to continue. This will start the Docker engine. While this is starting, we can check the computer's resources to make sure it meets the requirements. On this machine, I have four cores, so it meets the first requirements. On the memory front, we are well equipped to handle this application. Docker engine is up and running. Now we can continue with the install process. We launch the command prompt and issue the local install command. I have added the insecure cookies flag. As during previous attempts, I was not able to log into Airbyte. This is a recommended solution. The installation is underway. It is using Kind and creating a Kubernetes cluster. Here is the cluster name and its creation is in progress. We allow Docker backend access to the network through the firewall. The cluster creation is complete. Now we are pulling the Airbyte images from Docker Hub. This process can take a while, so I will pause and come back when this is complete. It took about 9 minutes to pull the images. Now we install Airbyte using a Helm chart. This is quite similar to how we installed Airflow on Kubernetes. We will let the Helm install process continue and come back when it's complete. The install process is complete. It has launched the Airbyte UI running on port 8000. We will provide an email address and organization name to get started. Now it is prompting us to log in. However, we do not have the password. We can issue the following command to retrieve the local credentials. Let's copy the password and try to log in. This is a success. We are logged into the Airbyte local instance. Now we can use it to extract and load data between systems. You can watch this video here to see how to move data between systems. Airbyte supports a number of systems. You can search and select the source you are working with. This is all on Airbyte for now. I hope you enjoyed the session. Like, share and subscribe. Take care and I'll see you in the next video.